Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla and I am a reseller. And today I decided to go ahead and film a video outside. So it is a little bit breezy, but I hope that it's not too loud on my little microphone. I apologize if it is, um, but it's such a beautiful day here in Colorado that I wanted to get outside and go ahead and film this video. I recently went to a Goodwill Benz store um, about an hour away from me here in Colorado and um, yeah it was, a, it was a different experience I've been there twice now and I did find some good things some of the stuff I probably wouldn't have picked up at regular thrift store prices but being at the good the Goodwill bins I was able to get these items for less than a dollar a piece is what it averaged out to be um, but there also is a thrift store right across the street from the Goodwill bins and I did go over there and get a few pieces as well so I'm going to show you everything that I got. Some of these items um, were from the bins, some are from the regular thrift store. I'll let you know which one was from which. And yeah, if you, do get, if you guys see anything that you do like, I will link my Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay stores down below so you can go check that out. Most all of this stuff will be listed within the next couple of days. So let's go ahead, jump right in, and get started. This first item I found is a 100% silk leopard print skirt. Absolutely adorable. This is a brand that I don't think I've ever picked up before, but leopard print has been selling really, really well for me. And it's a really cute style and it's 100% silk. So this skirt just had so many things going for it. This is the brand and this is a size four high-waisted skirt it has a zipper in the back i just have it unzipped right now super adorable that was from the regular store this was also from the regular thrift store it's another skirt and this is a vintage skirt but i loved the colors and the patterns on this i could not believe it leave this i could not leave this behind this was the half off tag of the day um, so i got it at a really good price it also has a zipper and little button closure on the back. Really, really cute style. It has pockets. So the brand is Petites by Fundamental Things. And you could just see the vintage tags in here. This one says it's a size six, but I did try it on. It fits more like a size four, um, size two to four in my opinion. Okay, this was also from the regular store. This is a pair of Madewell skinny, skinny jeans. I love finding Madewell jeans. These ones are just a really nice light wash in really good condition. So these ones do have a longer inseam, so they are um, better for somebody who's a little bit taller or if you're shorter like me, you can just cuff them at the bottom, but they are a size 27. And I don't find Madewell jeans off, often, but I do get really excited when I do find them. Okay, these were from the Goodwill bin, so very, very cheap. They're very lightweight. I really just loved the little granny squares and the color patterns. I went ahead and picked up five of them. And the reason I grabbed these is because they can be used as little coasters. Um, they could be used as a start of a granny square blanket, but they're very lightweight. Found them at the Goodwill bins super cute and i thought somebody would appreciate those this sweater was also from the goodwill bins so this brand is beckhamel if i'm pronouncing that correctly size 1x and it's this really cute cat print cardigan sweater i love finding unique prints and fun sweaters like this they always do well for me it has a cute little cat on the back as well and I just thought, thought that somebody who loves cats would really appreciate that uh, cardigan. So this is also from the bins. This is Old Navy. I usually um, will not pay up for Old Navy at a regular thrift store, but because this was from the bins and I really, really love the pattern, I thought it was worth picking up. Very, very lightweight, just a beautiful red and white floral pattern, size extra small. Okay, this is from the regular Goodwill store. Um, actually, it was an ARC thrift store, which I think may only be in Colorado, I'm not sure, but the regular thrift store. This is a black label, J. Crew, size large, really pretty sweater. 
And I do believe this is a wool blend. It has the pattern that goes onto the back as well and then down the sleeves. I love finding Black Label J. Crew pieces. And right now I've been loving really cute soft sweaters like that one. This was also from the regular thrift store, another Black Label J. Crew. This one's a size small. Another super soft V-neck cardigan. This one's like a really pretty, almost, it's kind of pink, but almost looks like a light, like violet purple color as well. Super, super soft and cozy. And this one, I think is also a wool blend. I'm not sure if it has cashmere. So it's merino wool and alpaca in this one. So super soft. Okay, this was another Ben's find. So again, not a brand that I typically will pick up unless it's something I really, really like. Um, but I thought this shirt was very nice. It's Express, the Portofino shirt, size medium. And I just loved this blue color with the paisley pattern on it. Just a really nice button down blouse in amazing condition, super lightweight. This next item is also from the bins. This may actually stay in my own closet just because there is a little bit of wear, just wash wear um, on this shirt, but I really liked it. And again, it's really lightweight. I've never heard of this brand, but it says on the tag, if, you, if you'll be my star, I'll be your sky. It's kind of um, really washed out. But I just really like the style, the waffle knit, the raw kind of distressed hem, button front. Um, so that will probably just be staying with me um, just because I like wearing oversized baggy comfy sweaters like that This was from the regular thrift store. So this is a loft size 6 and again I'm very picky with the loft pieces that I do pick up, but it does sell for me. So I will um, Pick up certain pieces. This one happened to be new with tags originally retailed for $69.50 and it's this really pretty tweed wrap skirt it's got this cute little button detail in the front. And yeah, I love skirts like this around this time of year. It's very nice. And the fact that it's new with tags is just an added perk. Okay, we have another J. Crew Black Label J. Crew sweater from the regular thrift store. This one's a size large. Just a super cozy, chunky knit sweater. And it's kind of like a boxy, wider fit, but very cozy. Let's see what this one's made out of. So this one is wool, acrylic, nylon, and mohair blend. So super soft. It feels nice and cozy. I love the kind of chunky, thick knit turtleneck as well. Okay, this is a jacket from the regular thrift store. And this is by BB Dakota. It's a size medium. I love the texture on this jacket. It's again, just very soft, cozy, and it has like an asymmetrical zipper. Um, it's unzipped right now, but it has like an asymmetrical zipper in the front and it's a longer length coat. This is just a great layering piece. It also has a hidden um, like, tie at the waistband that you can adjust on the inside of the jacket just for a really nice um, flattering fit. You can kind of cinch it where you want to. So really nice jacket. Okay, this last one, this was from the bins. So this is more of a summery piece, but I couldn't pass up new with tags at the bins. This is Skies Are Blue, new with tags. This brand i think is sold at urban outfitters i could be wrong let me know in the comments down below um, it looks like this originally retailed for 79 dollars but had multiple discount stickers on it all the way down to 27.65 but still new with tags super cute embroidered kind of coral color romper these cute little embroidered pockets as well it does need to be steamed but very cute and I'm not sure if I said the size already. It's a size medium. Okay, on to the second bag here. So this was also from the regular thrift store, a really pretty color block skirt with these really nice 
pockets in the front. It has a cute little zipper in the back. Love, love, love the colors on this. This is an anthropology brand. It's actually one of my favorite anthropology brands to sell. And this is HD in Paris, size small. I absolutely love that sub brand by Anthropology. Okay, these pants were from the bins. Um, so again, not a brand I will typically pay up for, but this is just H&M. These are a size US 12, but they're a really pretty wide leg pant. And I love the green pattern on them. The bottom is really cute as well. This wide leg style is super cute with like a button down shirt tucked in. Just looks really nice. You can wear it to the office. You can wear it on a casual day out with some friends or shopping and they're super comfy. So they're just a nice um, style of pant to have in your closet. Okay, this is from the regular thrift store. So this is a pair of Athleta leggings, size small. There is a little bit of wash wear on these nothing terrible um, but just a really pretty pattern you can see the logo still looks really good the back has the little zipper on it and then the athleta logo is at the bottom of one of the legs here and that still is in great shape those are all things that i look for when i look at athletic wear um, just because i know the logos really matter to people This is an Athleta top, and this actually was from the bin, so very lightweight, paid less than a dollar for it. And this is a size medium. Just a really cute little athletic top. It has some side ruching, which just kind of gives it a little bit more of a flattering fit. Very nice stretchy material. Okay, this was from the bins. This is Calvin Klein, size six. Just a really cute little summer dress, navy and white stripes. So I know we're kind of getting out of the summer dress season, or we're definitely out of the summer dress season. But um, yeah, with this at the bins being super lightweight, I couldn't leave it behind. So um, still definitely going to pick stuff up like that. This is another vintage piece. So I have been loving finding vint vintage clothing, but I am very selective with it. Um, I only like to pick up the unique pieces that really stand out to me. This is Corite or Corette. It's hard to see. And it's just a vintage blazer, size 10. Really pretty single button plaid blazer. This is super, super cute around this time of year with the holidays coming up. The oversized blazer jacket look was super popular last year and I think it will be again um, this fall and winter. I also sold quite a bit or quite a few um, ugly Christmas sweaters last year so I told myself I would start stocking up on them so I had plenty to put in my closet this year which I haven't been doing. Um, this is actually the first one I've picked up this year so far. Sorry about that super loud car just drove by but this was at the bins so I couldn't leave it behind. It's a really cute snowman Christmas sweater. It has the little snowman on the back as well. And it's vintage. It's by Marissa Christina Petit. It says the Christmas collection, 1999. It's a petite small and it is made from a cotton Angora rabbit hair and wool blend. So very thick, cute Christmas sweater. Okay, this was also from the bins, but it's in great condition, no stains or anything like that. It just needs to be steamed a little bit. Tommy Hill figure, button down top. This is a size medium. Women's, super cute, pink and white pinstripe. And then it has these almost like chambray looking cuffs on there. So just a really nice button down top. Very lightweight. This was also from the bins. Um, this is one of my favorite finds for the day, but it's a really cute linen blend, single button blazer. This one's also by Express. It's a size zero. 
um, but this blazer when I looked it up has the matching pants online but it retailed for over a hundred dollars from Express so even though it's from Express it was still very expensive retail and it's a very very cute style okay this was also from the bins I have been wanting to find a vintage Kugi or Kuji, however you say it, sweater, just because I've seen them all over the reseller market and um, how they've come back into style. And this is not that brand, but it does look, it's that different textured knit, colorful knit uh, kind of sweater. And it's by Cotton Traders. I do think this is a vintage sweater. It's 100% cotton but it just has that very like Kugi or Kuji vibe to it, which I really like. And this was from the bins, so definitely um, if I'm gonna try out a sweater like this, that, that was the place to pick one up. Couple more items here. This was also from the Goodwill bins. It's Tokyo Darling, size medium. I don't know where this is sold at. If you know, you can leave me a comment down below. I think I've seen it at like TJ Maxx and Ross, places like that. But I really like the color and it's just a cute knit, lightweight knit sweater. Okay, this was also from the bins and yeah, this is the last piece I have to show you guys. This is Bailey 44, which is Kind of an expensive brand. I've picked it up before and sat on it for a while, so it's not a brand that I usually um, will pick up, but because this was at the bins, very lightweight, and it's kind of a cute style, I went ahead and grabbed this. But yeah, just a cute little tank top with all this like ruching in the front, asymmetrical hem, very nice, lightweight and flowy. Just a great uh, basic piece that you can layer with. Um, you can wear it in the summer or you can layer with it in the fall and winter. But yeah, so that is it. That is everything from this haul. I did get some more stuff too when I was up in uh, Colorado Springs is where I went thrifting. Um, but I did want to separate that into a different haul. So I will have a part two to this video. So keep an eye out for that um, where I'll show you the rest of the items that I picked up and some hard goods that I picked up to resell as well. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up on your way out. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel already and you do like this type of reseller content, please go ahead and subscribe. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.